found out that she was going to be born with a cleft lip and palate, it was our like 30 week ultrasound. And they told us and our first reaction was that it could be a lot worse. Dr. Mount has just been phenomenal. You can tell that she works with children. She's just so in tune to their needs and what she's going to be going through and how to stay like one step, two steps ahead of the game. I love you, Mom, and I love you, Dad. When we go to the craniofacial clinics, just everybody is there. Um, your plastic surgeon, speech therapy, pediatric ENT, the social worker, genetics counseling, everybody just make sure that you don't have any questions, uh, that all of your needs are taken care of. It's my kid pajamas. Iris thinks Dr. McMurray is just a silly guy um, with his bow ties on and he'll get down on her level and say things in a childlike way, but then he'll come back up to us and say, this is what it is, what do you think? And um, explain it to us then too. But he also explains it to her in a way that she can understand too. You know, I thought that every time I take her into that operating room, it would get a little bit easier. But in fact, it's getting a little bit harder. One, two, three. Hey. And you know, I try not to cry when I have to leave her there, but this last anesthesiologist told her a story as she was going to sleep about a princess named Iris. And you know, just the, the care that was there, and yeah, it was just, so th you could tell that they cared. Yeah. 